Hello everybody, so today as you can see behind us we have the 698 um, and today we are going to change the water pump on it. So it is dripping because the seals have gone on the shaft, um, the bearings are probably on their way out so we're just going to take the whole thing off, put a new unit on. So there's a new pump, a new, some gaskets and a new fan belt. That will come from Chandler so that is a genuine what they call a 10 plus part which is what Massey is saying for keeping the older stuff going. So this is not Vintage Thursday, this is a regular Sunday video because the 698 is not part of the Vintage Collection, it works every day. Every, every winter day it is vital in its role of running the straw blower. Um, the straw blower is off at the minute but it sits on the straw blower every single day. A lot of the times twice a day it is bedding the cattle so you know, it's not a toy. It is here to work properly, it earns its living. So water pump is tucked away under the bonnet. Okay so here is the water pump and you probably can't see it there, you can just see there there's a little hole there, a little rusty stain around the hole that's where the water is coming out of so got it under all this pipe work. Uh, might be a bit more better access to the far side, let's go and have a look. Yeah, this looks better. All we've got to do is take off this guard. Um, hopefully we can get a bit better access into it then. Not quite sure where we're going to sit the camera, but we'll find somewhere I'm sure ice back. We are now making steady progress. We've got most of the fittings off. Um, the thermostat housing bolts are undone. I can't get the heater unions off. I think we're gonna have to get the whole unit in a vice to get that. I've got the temperature sensor out, but that's not been in there that long. I put that in, in I think 2017, we changed that. Um, but this pump is the original, it's got original paint on it. So some of the bolts that screw into the engine block are being very stubborn. I think I've got one more screwed into the block to loosen yet. And I've got a bolt that goes through the pump cast in that is carrying a bracket here for the uh, exhaust manifold, you, it's just about in the corner of the screen. So because this tractor is a, it's a 698 with a turbo, which is a very different thing to a 698T, um, all this that you can't quite see is aftermarket. So it's kind of put in there a little bit, a bit of a, a cobbled job, but hopefully, uh, yes, and uh, Right, so hopefully the fan should come off now. Bolts are all out. Try not to... You mustn't damage the radiator, because that would be bad news. Hmm. He's not coming off. Or is it going to sit in there out of the way? He's out. He's not. He's coming. Here he is. So there's no no play in the, the bearings, but 
it doesn't sound very good. Whether the microphone's picking it up, I'm not sure. But, right. Let's take some more off. I will bring you back. Right, so, we have not had a good hour or so. Um, as you can see, it is moving now. All the hoses are off, all the connections are off. <coughs> Most of the bolts are undone. Um, we'll see when it comes out. The actual pump casting is bolted to a steel back plate. Um, there's a couple of bolts still in that back plate, but it will, it will come away now. The problem is we have sheared a bolt into the block on the far bottom corner. When we get the pump off, there will be a stub left sticking out, so it could be worse, but it's bad enough. Anyway, we are now free. It's pivoting on that snapped stud. So now we've got to pull it off of that snap bolt, and it should hopefully come out this way, avoiding the tackle cable and the light cable. We will see. Right, so finally we are off. This was the bolt causing us the problem. You can see it's been leaking and it's rusted. So the bolt sheared off flush with this fitting and it was actually seized in here rather than in the block, which is good. So what we had to do, we had to get this hot and then we could ease it away. It wasn't easy, it was a lot of fiddling and a bit of levering, but this came away. We've got two more bolts here to undo and then we've got to strip all the bits off. So we've got to take the heater fittings off, we've got to take the pulley off and the thermostat housing got to come off. Okay, so this is the stud that was causing us the problems. You can see it's sheared off, and I've probably bent it by wiggling to try and get it off. But as far as I can tell, it's not seized in the block. Well, hopefully it should come undone fairly simply. Might go around the far side, get some better access. Because as far as I can tell, this bolt was turning it. There we go, yeah, easy. That's the best outcome we could hope for really because if it was seized in there on the thread that was going to be awful bother to get that out but luckily it's sheared off with plenty of length and we can just cut hold of it unscrew it and just swap it out for a new bolt when we all go back together There he goes. So next job on the block is to get all this old gasket off, clean it up, get a nice sealing face. Right, so water pump is fully stripped now. Uh, we have had to cut one bolt off. It wouldn't come out. I was trying to get it high. I heated it up as best I could, but it wouldn't quite get it hot enough, the, uh, the pump casting hot enough to get that seized bolt out. So I've cut a bolt off, cut a bolt head off. Uh, it's cheaper for a cheaper to, it will be cheaper to replace the bolt than waste a load of gas trying to get it out. So anyway, the final job is to pull the pulley off of the shaft because the old pulley needs to transfer to the new pump. So we got the hydraulic puller set up ready. I would have preferred to use the bearing puller and got underneath the bit more of the pulley, but it's just not big enough. The pulley is too wide here, so we just got to hope it's not too tight and we don't break anything. Right, so this is a very tight fit, but we're, we're going, we're getting there. It's a bit of a slow job. There's actually, there's nothing other than the press, the fit of the 
the pulley onto the shaft holding it there there's no nut there's no key keyway or anything it's just just a press fit and it's pretty tight but we'll get there we're on the move now Easier. And once it started, it is going easier. But I don't think you do it without an hydraulic puller. Right, so we've run out of. Yeah. End of the puller won't go through the, the shaft, so drop a couple of nuts in to take up the slack. Go again. Right, so we now have our hub pushed on, our uh, adapters for the heater pipes, one that side and one down there. We won't put the elbows in yet because they're gonna, we don't know what angle they're going to end up at. Uh, we'll put the thermostat housing on once it's installed, just to keep the weight down a little bit, make it a little bit easier to move. So, we've got all the back, the back plate is cleaned up, so what I've got to do is just clean that round with a bit of thinners and this face here, because that will have oil on it. Um, put a gasket in between and then get it on. There isn't room for a spring washer underneath this nut, which is a bit of a shame. Right, that's got all the holes aligned. Put a bit of gasket sealer around this one now, and on the block. Doesn't want to balance, there we go.
because we've got two different gaskets. I think we're going to use that one. I think that's the shape that was on there before. There is a hole in the block here, but there's no one in the pump. If we just take that off, we might end up swirling around inside the engine. do is I'll seal this surface but stick the gasket to the block because it's going to be tricky to get everything lined up and not hit that gasket off So it is on, finally. Um, now what we've got to do is put all the bits and pieces back together, connect it all up. This has taken longer than I was expecting, but we haven't been on it full time. There we are. Anyway, right, let's do a bit more. So here we go, everything is back together. Pump is on, fan, back, fan is back on, we've got our alternator back on and a new fan belt. We don't have any spare parts left over, I have just noticed. I've not put the temperature sensor wire back on, so just quickly put him on. Okay, there we go, that's him. So there's no spare parts, only thing I've got left to go on is the guard here. But what I'm going to do, we're going to put some water in it. We're just going to put a little bit of water in, just make sure it's not leaking. Then we'll fill up with antifreeze and water mix, see if it runs. Make sure there's no leaks and then we'll finish off with the guards and stuff. So, let's put some water in. So, radiator drain valve is closed. I'm going to try and spill, or we'll try not to spill any, so that I know if we've got a leak or if we've just sloshed it all over everywhere. Right, so all seems good so far. I know we're a long way from, uh, from full. So we're using blue antifreeze purely because we everything is on blue and um, you often see questions of what's better the blue stuff or the red stuff we use the blue because we do um, i suspect there's actually there's no difference in the two as long as you use the rain you know the correct ratio and um, never mix blue and red together it'll do um, the red stuff is supposed to be longer life, more expensive, but I don't know, there's probably nothing in it in the long run. Don't appear to be leaking anything so far. All right, so we're about halfway full in the header tank. Well, I think what we'll do, we'll start up, let it run, because the heater will be empty, or the pipes up to the heater will be empty. So we will drop a little bit, but we don't want it full up anyway, we want about halfway up the header tank. Otherwise it'll only blow it out. Right. Yeah. have a little weep on the temperature gauge sender so I've given that a little tweak um, I'll just tie this lighting cable back away from the fan so that'll be all right there 
So that's it, we're getting close to finished. Just put our guard back on. Alright, so there we go, job is all finished. 698 can now go back on to the straw blower. So there we go, I hope you've enjoyed this little video. Um, don't forget to subscribe and comment and thumbs up and all that. And I will say thank you very much for watching and we'll see you next time.